Freeman Street, Grimsby, home of Freeman Street Market. Known by locals as the heart of Freeman Street, this market is still going strong and providing a service to the local community. Over this series, we take a look at the lives of some of the people who rely on the market to provide themselves with an income for themselves and their family. Although many still give it a bad name, I've got to ask you, when's the last time you give it a try? This is Freeman Street Market. Now then, most people like a nice piece of meat. Apparently, Gary, at Gary's Meat, has some meat, but so does his partner, who is also called Gary. Let's find out more. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we work together a lot of years now. Uh, me and my partner, Gary, a business partner, obviously. Um, 30, 35 years we've been working together. We was working for um, Mr Needham, Archie Needham. Um, he decided to retire, so we decided to buy the unit, what we was running for him, and took off on our own in 2002. That was a Saturday job at Creases. So, when I was still at school, early... Well, mid 70s. And I left school, but I thought I didn't want to work for creases, so I went down dock. <laughs> and I didn't want that one much cop, so I thought, right, and I went back to butchering, and that was it. And butchering, it certainly is. There's not much these guys won't tell you about their meat, and it would seem it runs in the family. As we talk to Gary son Lee and find out how he became involved in butchering. That's my dad, so forced into it. <laughs> I started with him when I was 14, so that's like what, 14 years now. So I've been around, I've been to other butchers in the town, but then just came back here. So, Do you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it pays the bills. <laughs> it's a good laugh on here anyway, so. so. How important is it being a local butchers? Very important, very important. People like to come and support the local, their own local businessmen, like, you know. I think we've done all right out of it, you know. I'm quite happy the way we've dictated it. I won't think we'd like to do anything different. So, yeah, yeah, you know, local Grimsby lads. You know, I was born a stone's throw from the market, two streets down. You know, I've drunk down here all my life in the pubs. I've worked down here all my life. Now I'll be saddled with it, you know, for the rest of it. <laughs> Sadly, maybe, but it's not often you get the chance to watch a butcher working with his meat. These chaps are so entertaining, they should be on the stage. Here we go again then, extra strong mints again. Gary's meat, super value, super stuff. We've run out again, here we go again. It'll blow your socks off this, Will. Extra strong mints, can't be beat, not even with a big stick. And here we go, take off. <laughs> Gary's meat, it hangs out on the market. <laughs> nice bit of shoulder report, bit of shoulder to cry on. Everything stops for tea. Always something to do in a butcher's shop. And yes, who guessed it, these guys are real characters, with a bit of banter to go with. And it's not just the meat these guys are proud of, but their market traditions and the importance of knowing where your meat is sourced. Well, it's very important for people to come and buy from the market. It just it'll show how much difference there is in our, our gear on these markets than what you get in supermarkets. When they buy from supermarkets, they don't realise what they're getting when it's all in pre-packed things. They just, they just buy it in the packet and they don't actually know what they're actually buying. And, but here, you can, you can see it all out there. They can pick what they want. Each, each, each thing is all, all there for them. They can know exactly what they're getting. All sourced from any... Well, they tell you where it's all sourced from, everything like that very important and obviously it, keep, it keeps everybody on here in the job if people still come here. We've seen a lot of changes and it's all been for the better. You know, it's onwards and upwards, you know, it's been going forward for quite a while now. They've invested a lot of money in the area as well. And it's, to be honest, it's rescued it. I think, you know, there's a lot of businesses on the upturn now in Freeman Street. You know, they generally tend to give it bad press, but they need, you know, they need to come and have a look for themselves. Wise words there, Gary. Or was that Gary? One thing is for sure, when you meet the Garys, or Lee, is they don't mince the words. 